Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dominique and I'm back again for another video. I know it's been about three months <laughs> since I recorded something, but I am back and I got a new camera so I'm excited to really have this new camera going into the new year. So I'm all ready. So this video is really going to be super short, super short, um, but I really just wanted to come out here test out my new camera and then show you this bag that I've had for a while, do a mini mini review look over whatever of it um so yeah so i purchased this bag from louis vuitton or it's a louis vuitton bag but i actually purchased from that facebook group it's called louis vuitton addicts buy sell and chat if they haven't changed it it's like two hundred thousand people i want to say maybe i'm over estimating it but it's a lot of people on there selling you know chatting trading or whatever um, they were used products or barely used products or whatever so yes if you I'll put the link in the description box they have to approve you to be a part of this group but they usually do if you're good people you know if you're not like a scam artist so I did buy from this group again multiple times I've purchased from this group so I purchased this bag so let me go into some background of why I purchased this bag and what I was looking for so I purchased, I was actually looking for a key paw. And fast forward to now, back when I was looking for it, I found one. Okay, but I was actually looking for a key paw, some type of luggage um, piece. And the key paws are very hard to come by, especially if you don't want to spend that much money, i.e. that's what I wanted. I didn't want to spend too much money. So I was looking for a key paw in my price range. And I didn't see anything, or if I did see something, they were like really beat up and I didn't want it to be too beat up. Okay, so... And when I like searched like uh, travel pieces or or luggage or overnight bags or something of that sort in the search box and this bag popped up and I never heard of it never heard of it you know nothing nobody on YouTube talked about it so I went back to YouTube again again to type it in see if I just missed it but not many people were talking about this bag not because it's a horrible bag but just because it's not that popular and I believe it's discontinued now so I was like, when I, I took a chance, I brought the bag from the lady, spent about 400 bucks on it, not a bad deal. It was in pretty good condition. I also purchased a dust bag, as you can see here, so I can actually keep it, you know, and try to keep it up. And when I said I was gonna get the bag, I was like, I'm gonna do a little review or at least something to the sort on YouTube. So therefore other people who may come across looking for a vacation or a travel piece, We'll have some sort of reference in, in video form. So that's what I'm doing here. Let's just get to it. This is the Flannery, Flannery 45 and the monogram print. So it looks like this. Um, looks like this monogram print. That's the sides. It's not stuffed or anything. That's the other side, the bottom. The other side is a horrible. And then the straps are machete. But they're really long. So if you really look at it kind of and try to get like an idea, if I'm not giving you the best clear picture, the idea of this would be it's similar to like looking like a never fool because it's a square rectangular box, but it has the long straps, but they're thicker than the never fool straps, as you can see. Two straps. It has a zipper, so that makes it very secure, okay? But it's a vacation piece, or a travel piece, a travel item, not an actual handbag. Um, so when you open it up and you actually start to put things in it, it's kind of sort of look, you know, like a Speedy, but like an oversized Speedy. Um, in terms that it's kind of like a bottomless pit. And this is when it's kind of fluffed out. So it gives you some some additional, some space. You can fit at least two to three small outfits. I mean, small as in like summer, spring outfits. If you're doing like sweaters and jeans, maybe like two, you know, in your undergarments. And then a small toiletry bag and fit. I wouldn't put many shoes in here because it will take up a lot of the space. Um, sandals, you probably can fit like two pair of sandals with your outfits. But not no boots or anything like that. So it's not that big. It's really an overnight bag. 
not like a weekend bag not like a you know a short vacation bag it's like an overnight bag so to go into the inside it has just that brown textile material on the back you can see that slip pocket with no zipper okay and it comes out and then let's go and see the little tag here oops it's always focusing on my face <laughs> let's look at this there we go so that shows that and then we have um on the front part you have your two tabs one has your little d ring here and then your date code is i believe under the pocket no i don't know where your date code is actually now this bag is pretty old not gonna lie it's a vintage bag which is the reason why i got it for 400 bucks and your date code is actually on the back pocket um in the inside flap so the one flap you'll have like louis vuitton made in this is made in france and if you flip it in to go inside the pocket on that same inside tab you will have your date code and i'll try to show you that let me focus that on there there we go um i don't know if you can see that it's pretty faded uh, the date code is N00040. So, so this was made in the 2000s. So, it's about 17 years old. It's pretty, it's pretty vintage. Um, when I came to me, the Vachetta was dry, patinaed, um, kind of sometimes uneven. I mean, especially on the bottom, it had some watermarks, but I wasn't concerned about that. Um, especially on the, you know, sides not sad about that but no cracking a little dry but no cracking and the canvas was the perfect material and the zipper ran very smoothly as you can see ran very smoothly so no issues with that and the tabs were in tight. the hardware was I didn't even clean it up it was pretty much clean she probably cleaned it before she sent it to me and then it didn't smell like an ancient old smell it smelled like like um fabric sheets so that was fine so it was really worth the money so um this is just a good overnight bag like i said i use it to go like to my boyfriend's house after work or something like that i think i look real stylish it doesn't fit much definitely don't get this confused if you want to keep all for the size this will not Again, this will not replace your keep all in terms of size. But if you just want something like an overnight bag, if you're taking, oh, this is going to be a, a good diaper bag if you're a type of mom like that. Um, so yeah, not a keep all, but can be our alternative for just an extra large purse if you want that. Or if you really truly and honestly need a overnight one-nighter, possibly two-nighter bag. They have, you can find some good deals on that website. The women that I choose are usually premier members. So they are known for selling things. They actually are like collectors and they sell. So you don't have to worry about it being non-authentic. And you can always get it checked by um, pro authenticators. And they charge about 10 bucks to do a verbal or email check. So yeah so that's about it y'all i just want to try my new camera show you my bag that i've had for about two to three months now use it multiple times and just come on here and say hey y'all thanks for my um thanks for subscribing to my channel thanks for all the video likes and watching them i see it <laughs> and yeah so i'm hopefully coming back with the new year for new more more videos more and more videos especially with this new camera girl i'm liking it <laughs> so yeah so that's it um Tell me if you like it. Tell me if you have any questions down in the comment section. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Yes, we're back.